Hello dear folks, today I'm gonna discuss a bit about a theme that I've commonly come across uh, as not necessarily as a plate, the idea of a lower self and a higher self. What I perceive about life is that we each come here in order to learn and experience, which seems to be the only purpose for life in the end, to learn and experience towards the betterment of our greater being, which more or less is beyond our physical existence. However, what I do not understand is why do people associate themselves with concepts of lower self and higher self? Why is it that people always believe in the such? I mean, why do they project nothingness into nothingness? Because I do believe that we come here to experience our own truths. Sure, my own perceptions and my own discoveries through my, well, subconscious deep diving and my introspection may not be appealing to many people or may be fairly different. But what I see more and more is that more people tend towards the idea of a belief, accepting something that may not necessarily be true and without the presence of any uh, proof towards what they accept. Why I say this? I have dived somewhat deep within me, actually quite a lot, and the result I came up with is that there is no such thing as this term. Why do people associate themselves, even claim that you have to know thyself by knowing your lower self? What people I've seen note as the lower self is nothing else than the totality of aspects they have gained from other people from the environment or the environments they have lived in and they actually shape us, especially subconsciously. And especially in the first six to seven, probably eight years, depending per individual, in which our brains do not have filters and, they do, and the brain does not filter, does not keep outside anything, it just records everything and this way it can become a bit problematic because people will keep within them and program, accept programmings of any kind without any resistance. So basically the lower self is like 80-90% whatever you took from other people and a little percent would be what you have also created based on those beliefs. So why on earth would you actually give birth to a monster within you? Why on earth would you actually be seeking to create cancer within yourself? With cancer actually meaning something within you decides or is made to fight against you. Cancer is not only a physical term and, well, especially not necessarily the biological form. So, even when you argue against yourself, even when you fight yourself, that's still a form of cancer. And what you think towards, right, what you direct your attention towards will grow. So, if you grow this aspect of a lower self, you're seeding resources, you're giving something resources and you're turning it alive. You might actually turn it into something more and more conscious. So, the lower self is just nothing. It's just a totality of thoughts you have acquired and basically that's that. I mean, why wouldn't you focus on removing them, on accepting the fact that you are defenseless against these programmings, and you focus on actually be having them become more powerful by actually accepting them as part of a lower self? Like, really, how psychiatric is that? You're inventing something, you're giving it power, and now it's actually beating you. Like, really, it, it just feels like you're fighting the windmills, right? There was a story about this. And just like that, the higher self is something that indeed it is beyond our physicality, but people in the simplicity of our common mind is that they perceive the higher self as our life purpose, that uh, they have to become that trainer, that business person, that value giver or whatever that they wish to accomplish in this life. Becoming one with your higher self is much more than that. So again, people are creating beliefs. And again, they are believing in those. 
What they are doing through this lower self and higher self is usually nothing else than just directing their power outside of themselves towards two concepts that have little meaning and have little value. They don't need to exist within you. Why don't you just accept yourself as just myself? There is me. Only I am here in this body, in this consciousness, because the body lives in the consciousness, not vice versa. So why would I need to be me and my lower self and my higher self? And Don't you believe, don't you understand the mind actually works more towards the negativity because that's what your environment will push you towards and that's how you are taught to think subconsciously. So why don't you just accept that the lower self and the higher self are just beliefs and your life can be much better without them. You don't need illusions in your mind. Because what you focus on will grow and instead of developing yourself you'll just develop your lower self and higher self options of yourself. They're just facets of yourself and what you focus on grows. Have a nice day.